Do you ever find yourself craving deeper connections with the people around you? Whether it's with friends, family, or even new acquaintances, forming meaningful connections can enrich our lives in countless ways. But sometimes it can feel like an uphill battle to break through small talk and truly connect. Building relationships should be fun and natural, not forced or awkward. But go too fast, too soon, and you might scare people off by coming on too strong. Don't worry, we get it, and we're here for you. So with that said, here are some simple tips to help you connect with people without being too serious or overwhelming and make meaningful connections effortlessly. Find shared enemies. It might sound counterintuitive, but bonding over shared dislikes or frustrations can be surprisingly effective at building connections. Okay, maybe enemies is a bit dramatic, but you get the idea. Bonding over shared dislikes or annoyances can surprisingly bring people closer together. Whether it's a mutual disdain for a shared experience, like the city traffic or the bad cafeteria food, or commiserating over a dreaded assignment. Finding common ground in your grievances can pave the way for deeper connections. The seven levels deeper conversation trick. Tired of surface level small talk? Dive into the deep end with this conversation hack. Start by asking open-ended questions that invite thoughtful responses. Then with each question, gradually delve deeper into the topic. Here's an example. Level one, surface level. What do you like to do for fun? Level two, interests and passions. What inspired you to pursue that hobby? Level three, personal experiences. Can you share a memorable moment or story related to your hobby? By gradually delving into deeper levels of conversation, you create an opportunity for meaningful connections to flourish. Remember to actively listen and engage with their responses, allowing space for vulnerability and authenticity to strengthen your bond. Reciprocal liking. Have you ever noticed how much easier it is to warm up to someone when you know they like you? Well, according to psychology, when you show genuine interest, appreciation, and affection towards someone, they are more likely to reciprocate those feelings, leading to a stronger bond between you. Why not sprinkle a little extra kindness and warmth into your interactions? Whether it's praising a colleague's idea or telling a friend how much you appreciate their sense of humor, genuine compliments can work wonders in fostering connection. But remember, sincerity is key. Reciprocal self-disclosure. Ever felt like you're doing all the talking in a conversation? Next time, try sharing a personal anecdote or a funny story and watch as the conversation takes on a more meaningful turn. For example, instead of bombarding a new coworker with your life story during your first coffee break together, you could start by mentioning a shared interest and telling them how you got into it. By gradually opening up about yourself, you can subtly invite others to do the same. But be careful not to share too much too soon. It's like peeling an onion. Reveal your layers slowly, allowing the other person to feel comfortable enough to do the same. Mirror their body language. Ever heard of the mirroring effect? It's when people subconsciously mimic each other's body language, gestures, and even speech patterns. Doing this creates a sense of familiarity between you and the other person, which makes you seem more likable and approachable to them. So next time you're chatting with someone, try subtly matching their gestures posture, or any speech patterns you can pick up to make them feel more comfortable around you. An attitude of gratitude. How often do you express gratitude or give compliments in your daily interactions? Remember, people love to feel valued. Saying thank you or giving a genuine compliment can really help your relationships. Whether it's thanking a friend for being there when you needed them or complimenting a coworker for their help, it makes a difference. Not only does it make your bond stronger, but it also encourages them to keep being helpful. So don't forget to show your appreciation whenever you can. The friendship formula. According to psychology, friendships are often built on four key components, proximity, duration, intensity, and frequency. Proximity refers to how often you come into contact with someone. Simply put, the more time you spend around someone, the more likely you are to develop a friendship with them. So try to interact with others as often as you can, even with just a simple hello. Duration is about how long your interactions last. Spending extended periods of time together allows for a deeper understanding of each other's personalities, interests, and values. To strengthen your friendships, try to keep conversations going for more than just usual small talk or hanging out with them after school or work. Next, you can then focus on intensity, which refers to the depth of your interactions. Meaningful conversations, shared experiences, and emotional support all contribute to the intensity of the bond. 
So find something meaningful to bond over with this person, like joining the same club as them or volunteering together for a cause you both care about. Once you've done all of this, all that's left is to keep it going. Regular and consistent interaction helps maintain and strengthen friendships, whether it's grabbing a coffee once a week or chatting on the phone every day. Staying connected fosters closeness and trust. So there you have it, seven simple yet effective ways to connect with others in a meaningful way. Whether you're forging new friendships or deepening existing ones, remember connecting with people doesn't have to be complicated or intimidating. By keeping things lighthearted and genuine, you can forge meaningful connections without feeling like you're putting on a front. Which tip are you going to try out first? Got any advice of your own you'd like to share? We'd love to hear from you in the comments down below. Then if you're interested in learning more, we also made a video on the five levels of friendship and seven signs you have real friends. In fact, we have a whole playlist on the topic you can dive into. So if you found this video valuable, let us know with a like, share, and subscribe for more meaningful content. Thanks for watching.